We currently have a backlog of close to a thousand. That has been reduced from uh, 1900 a few days ago to now a thousand, but a thousand is still quite a lot. So um, we, when somebody is, uh, when we take a sample, it still takes a few days before we can actually get back the result. Um, so we are working to decrease that time. And as an interim measure, what we have done, uh, we have sent samples to CARFA. So last Monday, we sent uh, 500 samples to CARFA, and we are expecting those results to come back either today or tomorrow. So once we get those results, I think, um, you know, we would have cleared a substantial uh, part of our backlog. But one of the things that people would have to understand when we get back those results, because there are 500 samples that went out, and therefore uh, you might see a big jump in the numbers, and I don't want people to be alarmed. And so that's what we are trying to put in place right now, to have more machines, more people working. We have done training. But to set up these machines and to build that capacity, it requires some time. We are working with um, biohazardous material. So these are live viruses that can infect people if they don't take the precautions. One of the precautions that we have to put in place in, in the lab, we have to get a biohazard cabinet so that when we are extracting the samples, it's done under these sterile conditions and conditions that the person who is doing the extraction is not affected. Now, to set up these uh, cabinets, we can set them up, but they have to be properly certified so that we know for sure that no viral partic particle can es escape and infect the staff of the laboratory. So these things take a little time to set up. We have uh, put the mechanisms in place to do that. We have acquired the cabinets. We are in the process of installing it. And we have contacted the agencies um, abroad who would have to come to Guyana to do the certification.